Sometimes games run better on the stock drivers, and sometimes they don't. Today's video is going to be a bit of a shorter one. I've installed the 7840U drivers on my Legion Go, and on my second Go I have the stock drivers from Lenovo. We'll compare the performance in a few games, and then go over why you may or may not want to install these drivers. Alright, let's dive into it. A couple of brief notes before we go in. Both sets of drivers are fully up to date as of the time we're recording. Check the video description if you'd like to see more information on that. All results are from a 3 test average to make sure that it's as accurate as possible. And lastly, all tests are at 30 watt custom because the other modes don't have a consistent TDP. Our first test is 3D Mark Time Spy at 30 watts, and we have 3404 for the 7840 drivers and 3177 for the Legion Go. And then next up we have the GPU scores for Geekbench 6, which are coming in pretty much neck and neck here, not much of a difference. Nothing that could really be considered an advantage, and then taking a look at the CPU scores, we have a slight advantage for the Legion Go drivers. But those are synthetic benchmarks, they don't necessarily determine game performance, so let's take a look at a few games quickly. Our first game is Forza Horizon 5, which is clearly running better on the 7840U drivers. For our average, we have about a 5 frame advantage here. The game also seems to run a little bit more stable. If you look at the 1% lows, we have an extra 9 frames per second average. Then taking a look at Forza Motorsport, we see that the Legion drivers are lagging quite a bit behind here from the 7840U at 53 versus 40 for the average. Next up we have Starfield. The average FPS is fairly close, but when you take a look at the 1% lows, there's quite a significant difference here. The Legion drivers are much more stable. And then we'll move over to Cyberpunk 2077, and we have a little bit of an advantage here for the Legion Go drivers, about 3 FPS on the average, and slightly more stable. Then looking at God of War, it's running pretty much the same across the board. If you take a look at the 1% lows, minimum, maximum, average, they're all pretty well the same. And then taking a look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider, kind of the same story as God of War, there's no difference, they seem to be running pretty much the same, so this game isn't really impacted depending on which drivers. And then our last game is Helldivers 2, and once again we have very similar performance, there's a very slight advantage across the board here though for the Legion Go drivers. So as we can see from the results here, some games have differences. If you're a big Forza Horizon fan or Forza Motorsport especially, you may want to consider trying the 7840 drivers. Some other benefits is if you have an AMD eGPU like what I have with the 1X GPU, you could just plug and play with the 7840 drivers, where you can't do that with the Z1 drivers. Another reason you may want to consider the 7840 drivers is AMD's new frame insertion that you can get on these drivers that are not currently present on the Legion drivers. It's that confusing name that I always mess up, it's AMD's Fluid Motion Frames, so AFMF. This should typically double your average FPS, but you also get more input delays, so it's something that you have to decide whether this feature is worth it or not. One disadvantage to using the 7840 drivers is that if you use the performance overlay that's built into Legion Space, that will no longer work. You're going to need to find an alternative, I would recommend MSI Afterburner. So if you're looking to add the 7840 drivers, you can't just install them normally, you have have to sideload them or manually install the drivers, I'll drop a link for a few videos in the description if you're curious on how to do that. A few other creators have done this, so make sure to check out their videos if that's something that interests you. And that's going to wrap it up for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.